For you folks watching online, I had to step out just for a second. Um, got a bad internet signal just popped up all of a sudden. There's a base hit. Right field. Shelby wins it. Ryan, uh, rather, Caleb Barnum scores the winning run in post 82. Picks up, uh, let's check out the total in the inning. Five runs in the inning on one, two, three, four, five hits. There are no errors and three left on. Final score on the Medical Arts Trophy scoreboard in 10 inning, uh, eight inning Mercy Roll game. Post 82 wins at 11 to 1 over Georgia on the Medical Arts Pharmacy scoreboard. Back with our TAC Cleveland County Transit postgame show in three minutes here on Big O Country. We all hear about how good the barbecue is in Lexington, Greensboro, and in eastern North Carolina. But here in Cleveland County, we all know that the best barbecue is here. At Austin Bridges Barbecue, Kent and Linda Bridges and their family make sure the staple of their restaurant is the best barbecue. Your choice, pork, beef, or chicken, plus delicious sides, such as slaw, beans, fries, and husk puppies. The best since Alston and Mabel opened in 1955. Alston Bridges Barbecue, 620 Grover Street, right here in Shelby. Tickets are now on sale for this year's American Legion Baseball World Series, August 14th through 19th at Veterans Field Keter Stadium in Shelby. General admission tickets just $35 for the entire series. And on August 13th, it's the Celebration of Champions concerts featuring Acoustic Syndicate and Rodney Atkins. We're sitting in six lane back up traffic, horns are honking, I've about had it. Tickets now on sale for just $25. Gates open at 6 p.m. at Veterans Field Keter Stadium. For more information, go online to AmericanLegionWorldSeries.com. At B&B Buildings, you'll find just what you're looking for in carports, garages, and metal coverings. Great for outdoor picnic areas. They've got RV covers and side entry carports too. With great pricing and friendly customer service, you'll enjoy your shopping experience. B&B Buildings also carries portable patios with swing options and great play sets for the kids. B&B Buildings, 2104 East Dixon Boulevard in Shelby, 2261 Lincoln and Highway 150 East in Cherryville, and the new Perennial Grove location, Highway 16 in Denver. They've got it all at the Bargain Station Outlet in Shelby. Planning to travel this year? Then come see the big line of luggage. Need small appliances for the kitchen? They've got that too. How about toys for the kids? They've got a big stock of toys, plus jewelry and watches too. Like we said, they've got it all at the Bargain Station Name Brand Outlet. The Bargain Station Name Brand Outlet, located at 4400 East Dixon Boulevard in Shelby, right next to Honda Motorcycles. Open Tuesday through Saturday. Don't forget the name, the Bargain Station Name Brand Outlet. Looking for hardwood flooring for your home? Look no more. Head to Barrett's Floor Covered in Kings Mountain. Right now, in stock, Gunstock Hardwood Flooring is on sale. Get three quarter inch by three and a quarter inch wide Gunstock wooden flooring for only $3.99 a square foot. All for good while the supply lasts. And remember Barrett's Floor Covered in Kings Mountain for your wide width vinyl and carpet. Available in 13.2 and 16.4 foot widths. Get your free estimate today from Barrett's Floor Covering on the Dixon School Road in Kings Mountain. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, Saturdays, 8 till noon. Comfortable just got more affordable. From Bill Schufert Heating and Air Conditioning in Shelby and American Standard. Keep cool this summer with one call to Bill Schufert Heating and Air and get up to $1,100 in rebates. Plus, ask about special financing available on famous American Standard Equipment. Call 704-484-0025 or drop by their office at 213 Campbell Street in Shelby. I get up to $1,100 in rebates now on American Standard. Bill Schufert Heating and Air and American Standard, where your comfort is our concern. Tomorrow afternoon across our stations, WOHS, WCSL, WLON, and of course you can watch and listen on ktcbroadcasting.com. Again, Shelby wins it by a score of 11-1, eight-inning mercy game 
here in Nashville this afternoon. Back with more of our Attack Cleveland County Transit post game show in three minutes on Big O Country. There's a live storm. Okay, yeah. Well, I got it. I, let me see it. One, yeah. So I guess I am. Just let him sit right here and hold it right here, Ethan. Let him hold the mic. Good job, man. Blanton Cars is slashing down payments. We offer down payments as low as $500. We are the most experienced buy your pay your dealer in Cleveland County. We have cars as new as 2010 models that we will finance in-house. We don't look at your past credit. Your job is your credit here. We have payment plans to fit your budget. Stop by today and let us put you in the car you deserve. Blanton Cars has two locations to serve you in Shelby. East Dixon Boulevard, across from Super 8 Motel, and West Dixon Boulevard, next to Monarchy Mufflers. Back to McCrary Park in Asheboro. Southeastern Regional win this afternoon for post 82, 11 1. Mercy Rule win over Covington, Georgia on the Medical Arts Rompuy scoreboard in eight innings. And Andy has some of the stars of the game. Andy. Ethan Carpenter joins us. Ethan, congratulations. Uh, you remain unbeaten on the year and a post 82 off to a great start in the Southeast Regional. Yeah. Uh Feels real good to get the first one. I always try to get the first one and just compete against teams. And we hit the ball really well tonight against a, a good team. And uh, we feel good going into this tournament. Again, you got great defense uh, behind you today. Arrowless ball out on the field. Right. Uh, I didn't feel like I had my best stuff early, so I just I just tried to let them work, and they did like they do every single time, and they just really helped me out. Jay Siegel made an outstanding catch in deep left field today. <laughs> Yeah, I can't say no about that one. As soon as, as soon as I let it go, I knew he was sitting fastball and he was going to hit it hard. And Jay had a beat on it off the bat and he caught it. And that, that really helped me a lot because that was the hardest ball I hit all day. 
What a offensive support you had today. 14 hits for post 82. Yeah, always. We know we can hit it just as good as anybody in the country. And uh, I, I think we showed that today against a good team. And we came out and just tried to produce every inning. We threatened every inning. We broke through a big time a couple times. I know you guys talked about being loose uh, in this tournament, and I think you were real loose out there today. Yeah, towards the end of the state tournament, I think we really found our zone to where uh, we we need to play at and where we play loose. And we came out today, it was just relaxed and played our baseball, and the score showed it. All right, uh, you move on tomorrow afternoon to take on a, a Florida team that I know will be a very solid baseball team. Yes, sir, we look forward to it. All right, Ethan, congratulations. Thank you very much. Ethan remains unbeaten on the year, and let's bring in Chandler Young. Chandler had three hits today for post-82, and Chandler, you've been seeing the ball well lately. Yes, sir. Been trying to see it, see it hit fastballs, adjust on curves. Talk a little bit about uh, playing on that uh, artificial turf infield. Uh, a little different. They're a little quick, but uh, all true hops. We know that we've been practicing all week in the cage, getting a feel for it. Of course, you got great defensive players uh, on the infield. Cody Fitch is smooth as any second baseman you're going to see. Yes, sir. He's played great defense, starting the state tournament all the way through. Doing a great job. Offensively, you had the three hits, uh, 14 hits as a team, and you guys feel like you can hit like that every game, don't you? Yes, sir. We've been hitting it really well. I feel like we, like Ethan said, we can hit with anybody. We we'll just keep putting it on. All right, uh, tomorrow, Jacksonville, Florida, a team, I believe, that was here last year in the Southeast Regionals. I'm yes, sure sir. they will be a challenge tomorrow. Yes, sir. We'll try to attack them just like we did today. All right, Chandler, great job, and best of luck tomorrow. Thank you. Appreciate it. Chandler Young, offensive star for Post 82 today. And it's good to have those young men up talking with us here this afternoon. We appreciate that, uh, them coming up and what a performance in this field today, Andy, this post-82 team. They show what they're here for. Their goal is to be playing back in Shelby. That's right, and they've got off to a great start in the Southeast Regionals. Impressive 11-1 victory over Covington, Georgia. Okay, well, you're listening to the TAC Cleveland County Transit post-game show. Let's go to the Oakies Tire recap of the game. Oakies Tire is located, of course, at 800 Durrell Man. Uh, 800 West Warren Street in Shelby. And Shelby uh, took the lead first and uh, got a run uh, in the third, two runs in the third inning, uh, uh, a leadoff double by Dustin Jones. Uh, uh, then a little bit later on, another double by Jay Siegel scoring Jones. And Siegel uh, later scored via a wild pitch. Shelby led 2 nothing. Then in the fifth inning, a big inning it was, four Big runs in the inning on four hits, uh, 80 by one uh, Georgia era, and uh, nine Shelby hitters went to the plate that inning, and Shelby picks up four runs to make it six nothing. Uh, the Georgia team did pick up a run uh, in in the third inning uh, to make it six one, and Shelby uh, won won it big time in the eight to uh, ending this game. The mercy rule uh, took effect because Shelby had. Uh, five runs on five hits in that uh, eighth inning to end this game this afternoon. Shelby wins 11 to one on the Medical Arts Trophy scoreboard. Line score for Shelby: 11 runs on 14 hits. Uh, post 82. Uh, post 82 committed no errors. Another defensive gem this afternoon for Post 82 has left 11 runners on base for Georgia. Uh, they had one run on five hits, um, committed a couple errors, left seven on base this afternoon. Winning pitcher, of course, Ethan Carpenter. He went the first seven innings for Shelby to pick up the win. Uh, a losing pitcher was the starter for the Georgia team this afternoon, and that was G Gray Ritchie. And, uh, of course, a uh, good job by, uh, by uh, Bird, Jalen Bird, uh, coming in pitching the eighth inning uh, of a uh, three up, three down inning. Actually, a double play, a base hit, but a double play. And Shelby, a uh, three up, three down the end. And post 82 uh, gets a big win this afternoon. 45 wins on the season, Andy. 45 wins on the season against only two losses. Georgia now 23 and three on the season. This Florida team, they'll face Shelby will tomorrow. Uh, Georgia will place, uh, will will face uh, Alabama tomorrow morning at 9:30. So Shelby stays in that winner's bracket. That's the key. Just keep winning and keep advancing. Stay out of the 
the loss column, and uh, you can have a, a successful run in any of these uh, postseason Legion tournaments. Okay, it's time for our players of the game. Here's Andy with those, Andy. All right, uh, Dan, first of all, our best hitter is sponsored by Fuzzy Peach and Shelby and Boiling Springs, and it is Chandler Young. He was three for five today, a double and two singles. Chandler Young, the best hitter for and, post 80. And he had two RBIs as well in today's win. Defensive player of the game, sponsored by Rapid Pace Oil Change and Boiling Springs, goes to left fielder Jay Siegel, made a spectacular catch up against the wall in left field. He did, and that, it's a big, it got, uh, it, it looked like Chandler Young might be in trouble if that ball hit off the wall and they got something going, but great defensive play there by Jay Siegel in left field. Monumental play of the game, sponsored by Fastway Oil Change and Shelby, that goes to Dustin Jones, the Shelby catcher who cut down a, a runner at the plate, and he got the ball on a ricochet and dived to the plate and beat the runner there and got him. Yeah, tagged him out. What a dive by Dustin. You know, he had, you know, he just had an overall good game today, Dustin did. He had uh, uh, two big hits and, uh, um, and scored a couple runs. And that great play at the plate, that was something else. That meant a lot to his post-82 team. And the overall player of the game, sponsored by SNR Auto Sales for the 14th consecutive year. And you talked about him, but Dustin Jones, the... Overall player of the game, he had a double and a triple, scored two runs for post-82, made an outstanding defensive play at the plate. And he's been doing that all through the playoffs. And, you know, you look at each player in this uh, Shelby batting order, and, and each one not only plays well, it does well at the plate, they play, would play well defensively out in the field, Andy. Yeah, and uh, I think uh, this uh, team that scored 11 today on 14 hits, very indicative of the kind of baseball team Shelby has, uh, a very talented team. You don't win 45 games unless you're very talented in all facets of the game. Again, we'll be back on the air tomorrow afternoon at 4 o'clock. I know a lot of you uh, uh, will be coming down maybe tomorrow afternoon for the game. Also remember the seventh inning stretch on Saturday afternoon in Uptown Shelby. A lot of activities there. Go to the What's Up Shopper, the new edition out today. They have all the information on the stretch festival and up to seventh inning stretch festival in Uptown Shelby on Saturday afternoon and evening. For all the folks who helped us here today, first of all, thanks to David Count and the folks here in Asheboro who have uh, been very hospitable to us. Appreciate it. Thanks to Alan Ford for uh, texting us some information that uh, helped us out quite a bit. Thanks to Steve Roberts, Calvin Hastings back in our studios. Thanks to Andre and Kevin with video side. And for Andy Foster, I'm Dan Greer. Reminding you again, the final score in the eight-inning Mercury Rule game on the Medical Arts Trophy scoreboard, Shelby wins 11-1 over Georgia. 4.30 tomorrow afternoon against Florida, airtime 4 o'clock. Good evening, everybody. Happy trails. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow here on Big Oak. The Captain's Cap Family Seafood Restaurant is celebrating 30 years of serving the folks in our area with the finest in seafood, steaks, and chicken. For over 30 years now, the Captain's Cap has been bringing you great seafood at a reasonable